Welcome. My name is Sherry Smith, and I'm going to take you through the steps on how to cut your individual papers for your Chinese lanterns. You're going to have four sides. Okay, so we're going to start with a basic piece of large poster board, and you're going to fold this in half. I like to take the ruler sometime and just crease the edge. So that way I can see the crease of where I'm going to cut it in half. Then I'm going to take a pair of scissors. But before I do that, I've taken my ruler and creased the edge. Now, if you want to, you could take your ruler if you can't see the crease and you can measure over that might be a little difficult to do measure over how much we have here so I put a mark of where it's 12 and then I put so it's 14 inches so I measured 12 and then two inches you don't have to do this, but it's just another option if you want it to be absolutely precise. And then I'm going to line up my hatch marks. I'm drawing a line to, for my hatch marks. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the crease. Or if you have drawn a line, go ahead and cut directly on the line. You want this to be as straight as possible. Okay, so for an individual person, you're just gonna need one of these. So I'll use the other one later and each person will have their own individual half sheet of poster board. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that piece after you've cut it. This will kind of give you an idea. So this is all four pieces, but we're going to use them. Okay. Okay. So the next step, again, we're doing four 11 by sevens. So you're going to take your half sheet of poster board. Okay. Hamburger hot dog. You're going to have it hamburger and you're going to fold it again. I like to crease it and then I take a ruler and go over that crease to really get it nice and crisp, okay? Then, if you want to, you can draw a line. So this is 11, 11 by 11 to 11 by 11. So I would put 11 here, 11 there, hatch marks. And then I'm gonna connect my dots. And then what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'll be left with two 11 by 11, 11, I'm not sure, I think it's 11 by 11, I'm not, I think it's 11 by 7. Okay, so, and now that we have two, okay, so we're, we're getting to this size. Okay, so this is the bigger picture, we went four, four of these. Okay, so then what you're going to do, take this piece of paper and you're going to fold that in half. And then I take a ruler and I crease it so it's nice and crisp, okay? Take a ruler if you want it to be absolutely perfect. 
and connect, connect to those lines. And now I'm gonna take scissors and I'm gonna cut again. Really looking for good craftsmanship, so nothing sloppy. This is going to be the sides of your lantern, okay? Then this other piece of paper, I'm gonna do the same thing. Fold it in half, take a ruler, crease the edge for nice crispness. Then I'm gonna measure over seven inches at the very bottom, I'm gonna measure over seven inches, and then I'm gonna connect these two lines. And then I'm gonna cut again. Okay, so when you're finished, you should have four seven by 11 pieces of paper. Okay, so four individual seven by 11. Now what you're gonna do is on this poster board, one side has a tooth, it's kind of rough, and one side's very slick. On the slick side, you wanna write your name. And I would put your first name, your last name, and what bell you're in, okay? So that's how I know who it belongs to, and that's how I give you your grade. So I, when I go into power school, I need to know what name. So any nickname that you have, whatever you're known as in the school system. All right, and I would put that, your first name, last name, bell, on each one of these papers on the slick side, the really slick side. 